As Ireland speeds headlong into a second lockdown, and the government gives clear instructions which they immediately undermine in the same breath, there are still moments of calm and relaxation. This is Lockdown Bar. Now this week's poem is entitled, Who Will Buy a Poem? Question, who will buy a poem? Its meaning is genuine learning of scholars. Will any take, or does any lack, a noble poem that shall make him immortal? Though this is a poem with close-knit science, I have walked all Munster with it. Every market from cross to cross, nothing gained from last year to this time. Though a groat were a small earnest, not one man or woman offered it. No man mentioned the reason, neither gale nor gowl gave heed to me. Such an art as this is no profit to me, though it is a misfortune that it should fall to the ground. It were more honourable to become a maker of coals. What use is it to anyone to profess poetry? Core of Cashel lives not, nor Cian, who never spared their cattle, nor the price of them, open-handed men at paying the Bardic companies. Alas, it is a goodbye to the race of Aver. They never lost the palm of generosity until Kovtak and Tall died. Many a host I leave untold, for whom I might have continued to make poetry. I am a merchant ship that has lost its cargo. After the Fitzgeralds who deserved renown, I hear no answer. A case that has tormented me. Tis an idle business upon which I put a question. Uh, this poet isn't literally talking about selling an individual poem. The poet in question is looking for someone to offer a commission. Now, the context of this poem is that with the increasing influence of English colonizers, the role of the filly, the, the more highly trained bards, was becoming less and less in Ireland. People were valuing their work less and valuing the culture they stood for less. So this is about the, the dying out of the bardic tradition and the consequences that had for the filly, for the bards themselves. I hope you've enjoyed this poem and thank you for watching.